It's all to do with the departure of one of the world's greatest strikers and their fans will be keenly aware that there's nothing quite as miserable as starting a season with your best player playing for someone else. The challenge for Mr Wenger's new boys is to put a stop to the grieving for the dearly departed Thierry. As for Fulham, their fans seem to need some convincing that the magic partnership made in Northern Ireland is going to work for them. Your commentator at Arsenal, Simon Brotherton. Only one thing certain as Arsenal enter the new season, there won't be many number 14 jerseys sold at the club shop. No one's taken on old number, his are big shoes to fill, never mind the shirt. Arsene Wenger is able to include only one of his two big summer signings. Striker Eduardo de Silva has failed a fitness test on his injured ankle, but Bakary Sanya makes his Premier League debut at right-back, which means Emmanuel Ibue plays in a more advanced role. Fulham have suffered a blow already before the match has even started. Goalkeeper Antti Niemi injured his left hand, warming up 20 minutes before the kickoff, and is out of the game, so Tony Warner starts. Fulham include five of their new signings, but have left their most expensive acquisition, Diamanti Camera, on the bench. David Healy is preferred up front. Imagine losing your goalkeeper is the last thing that any team wants when they're about to play away at Arsenal. It's exactly what Fulham are having to contend with. Antti Niemi injuring that left wrist. He's already had an X-ray ahead of the game, and Lehman's made a mistake there, and David Healy has scored inside the first minute of the match. What a start for Fulham. And what a mistake it was as well. It was a move that seemed to be going nowhere. But Healy didn't give up on it. Arsenal should have had it covered. Right place, right time, 1-0 Fulham. And David Healy makes the perfect start to a new chapter in his career. Arsene Wenger says that going for the title and winning the title is a realistic ambition this season. Fabregas, sweeping ball. Kleb is definitely onside, despite Baird looking across towards the near side. Three red and white shirts inside the penalty area. Kleb tries to go it alone. Baird makes the challenge, Phil Dowd has a fine view and says no penalty. Feeling that Chris Baird brought him down inside the penalty area. Baird certainly looked like he chopped the player and he didn't get the ball. Here you see it once again, Baird did not get the ball. The referee, as I mentioned earlier, had an excellent view. Well, we thought Antignami had had a bad start to the season, not making it to the kickoff. And Lehman wasn't far behind him with that effort in the first minute. Arsenal looking to up the tempo a little bit. Sanya, nice little interchange with the Boué. Oh, it was a good ball, Rosicki! That was a good chance. Sanya combining well, the miscontrol from Van Persie and Rosicki. A whisker away from an equaliser. Sanya, the summer buy from Auxerre in France. Promising young, uh, mostly full-back, can play across the back line. Second time in the match, he combines brilliantly with the Boué. Oh, lovely ball. Oh, and very nearly a great finish from Kleb. Good defending right at the last there by Zat Knight to turn it over the bar. Simple but effective, and Kleb denied. Pretty unusual position for Fulham in the last couple of years to be ahead away from home. They've only managed one win on the road in each of the last two seasons. Flamini. Supported by Abue. Sanya is up on the right-hand side. Now it's Rosicki. Goes for goal! Rosicki certainly can strike them from distance. The ponder on the opening 35 minutes here. Torre and Gallas are up for this one. Arsenal. Plenty of players inside the six yard box, but that's a lovely, confident catch from uh, Tony Warner. Maybe a chance to break here with Stephen Davis. Managing to thread the ball past Fabregas, continues the run. Oh, and Davis, was he tripped there by Fabregas inside the penalty area? Fulham feel that uh, they should have had a penalty there. Now here come Arsenal again with Van Persie. Kleb is making strides in the centre, great chance for 1-1, oh, and a good save. 
Warner's legs keep it at 1-0. Van Persie and another good save by the replacement goalkeeper. He only knew he was playing 10 minutes before the kickoff. Tony Warner. But he is very switched on for this one. Good save with his right leg. And then from Van Persie, down low to his right. There clearly has been some intense heated discussion between the fourth official and Laurie Sanchez, which Laurie Sanchez is now putting direct to the referee in forcible terms. There was a trip on Stephen Davis. It was more a coming together than anything else. Can Fulham uh, hang on to their slender advantage here? Up until the half-time whistle. Clare. Oh, that's a beautiful ball. Fabregas, oh, good save again. And it looked as though it had opened up completely for Arsenal there. But Warner has had an excellent first half. Look at this for a pass. Fabregas clean through. Keeper made himself look very big and intimidating. And he just smothered the ball away. No changes made by Arsene Wenger at half-time. Arsenal, of course, have that trip to the Czech Republic during the week for the Champions League qualifiers. Here's Rositsky, the Czech international, who has his efforts saved by Warner. And Arsenal looking for an early breakthrough after the break. Rositsky right in on goal. The space for Stephen Davis. Healy's in behind Kleb. Oh, it's promising. Great chance for 2-0. Lehman denies Stephen Davis. For them threatening the Arsenal goal here. Davis had it all to aim at. For them have a corner here. Oh, it's down towards McBride. Oh, that was a great chance and Bocanegra couldn't turn it in. Well, for all that Arsenal have had some chances in this game, Fulham have had a few as well, notably there. So far, a flat start to the season for Arsenal. Can they turn it round? Well, will Fulham secure their first ever win away to Arsenal? It's Colo Torre. Warner is there once more. Fabregas, Walcott. It strikes Bubajot and it's away. All hands to the collective pump. Arsenal pushing, trying to get closer and closer. Colo Torre, powerful, strong, still going, and Arsenal have a penalty. Bocanegra says, I didn't foul him inside the box, that's what he's trying to say. Arsenal have a route back into this match. Real forceful desire, and it was inside the box. Torre bulldozing his way through, and Bocanegra blocking his path. It's Van Persie against Warner. Oh, and he scores! And the Arsenal players there have just marched in on Tony Warner. Surrounding the uh, Fulham goalkeeper, many of them waving in. Bubajok hangs onto the ball and says, get it off me if you think you can. But that turned very, very nasty, very quickly out there. Warner gets a yellow card. We're going to have another card here, and it is for Papa Bubajok. Again, I, I presume for hanging onto the ball. And now Flamini, who is perceived here by uh, the referee as being an aggressor in all of that. Gets a yellow card as well. Here's the penalty. Decisively smacked home. I'll tell you what, though, it wasn't far from going over the bar. Relief at last for Arsene Wenger. There. Towards Dempsey. Oh, and Colo Torres made a mistake. Oh, and he was lucky to get away with that. Arsenal again looking unsure at the back. That was a very worrying moment for the home crowd. Just over a minute of the 90 remaining. It's Nicholas Bentner. Didn't quite fall for him. Might do now. Bentner saved by Warner. Well, 
Real excitement towards the end of this game here as Arsenal pushed to turn what was looking like a home defeat into three points. Arson Wenger nearly swivelled himself into a hole in the floor there. Sanya forcing his way forward, advantage played by the referee, flag stays down, could be a great chance, Clev, yes! Listen to the roar! And Arsenal could not have left it later. Arsenal have been pushing and probing, and twice in the last seven minutes they've now scored. Clev took his time, picked his spot, and found the bottom of the net. 2-1. A really good finish and a real reason to celebrate. Of course, we had a bad start and after that uh, we played against a very good Fulham side who could have uh, scored a second goal when it would have been nearly impossible. But uh, we uh, had the strength to fight until the last minute and uh, that kind of result can change the season for a team and strengthen certainly the belief. I wasn't very happy with the decision making in the penalty box, um, but you know, a one-one, we should have still got something from the game. And to concede in the last minute is, is, is soul destroying. After the, the game today, I think we're quite flat because you know it was in our grasp really um, to, to get to get the three points, um, and then even when they got the penalty to get a point, to come away from Arsenal with a point in the first day of the season, I think you know you'd be quite pleased with that. Um, so yeah, no, the lads are very disappointed. How relieved on a scale of one to ten is Jens Lehmann? Uh, certainly 10. <laughs>